Welcome back to my channel. It has been a minute. Um, I did not intend for it to be quite such a long break over since Vlogmas. Um, but if you've catch up with me on my blog, you'll know that I've been having some laptop issues. But as of filming this video, um, my laptop is better and it is on its way to Dallas. So that's exciting. But today, I'm just going to kind of go over what I wanted to be like my New Year video or whatever. Also, to address the elephant in my room, if you aren't following me on Instagram or my blog, which you should be, um, I chopped off all my hair. Um, I did not intend to chop it off quite this short, but if you want to see pictures of it not in whatever this is. Hold on, I'm going to fix it real quick. Is this okay. I don't even remember what the last thing I said was because I got distracted by that. So yes, new hair, new me, new year, all sorts of fun stuff. Um, <laughs> um, but today we're going to do a craft. I feel like painting. I've been in a painting mood. Ever since Bryce and I um, watched Making It with um, Amy Poehler and Nick Offerman, it's really good. You should go watch it. Um, I've been in a crafty mood, so I'm just going to have fun. I'm not much of a painter. My sister got all of the like good painter abilities, so I can't promise this is going to be good, but we're going to do it together, and we're going to have a little chit-chat while we do so. Um, I just need to open the paints. I don't think I need this one right now. I think we're going to start with blue. So, um, I just wanted to reflect a little bit because not only did we start a new, is it like inside? What's happening here? The little like sealer thing is inside of the cap. Okay, hold on. I did not anticipate this. Now that that's over with, I hope that's not going to happen with all of these. I also hope that that wasn't foreshadowing. <laughs> um... I wanted to, so we ended a decade. We didn't just end a year. So, hold on, I'm going to focus real quick. I wanted to kind of reflect not just on 2019, but also on the overall decade. Because this was a pretty big decade for me. I've already managed to get it on the table. We're fine. I probably should have got some like... Um, paper towels. I'm gonna go get some paper towels real quick. Okay. And we are back. I'm just gonna put this paper towel down right here. Since we're kind of going along some edges and whatnot. So anyways, the, um, I need more paper towels. 2010s were a big decade for me. So I started out this decade, if you're counting from 2010, um, I was in my second semester as a freshman in high school. And now in 2020 slash 2019, I'm a 24 year old lady and I'm just doing my thing. I'm painting <laughs> in my apartment that I am on the lease for and I pay my own bills and I have a big girl job. And I wrote some of the things down that I wanted to kind of like highlight that happened over this decade for me. For example, this is uh, at the start of this decade. I did not have a driver's license. Um, this is the obviously, so as I mentioned, I started high school, or I was a freshman in high school at the start of this decade. Um, so that means I obviously graduated high school. I moved out of my parents for the first time. Um, I started college. I met a lot of new people, had a lot of new experiences. I graduated college. Um, I I didn't have tattoos at the start of this decade. I got all my tattoos. Um, 
I have a new sister. Espen did not exist at the start of this decade. Yeah. And of course, like all the new places that I traveled to. Oh yeah, that's an, that's another one that I have written down is um, getting to be a maid of honor and a bridesmaid in my friend's weddings. Okay, I'm gonna do a little more bloop. I'm trying to go for like a little bit of a tie-dye look, um, but I'm, I'm kind of like Jenna Marbles in the sense that like I have a too much jean, so I'm not really good at like the whole blending thing. Speaking of too much, I might need a little bit more paint for this to have like, okay, we're just going to do a tiny little dab. Okay, that was not a tiny little dab at all. Let's just kind of like sweep some of it off. There we go. Trying to bob Ross it up over here. Yeah, so basically I don't know what I'm doing right now. Do, 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 do. I'm having fun though. And that's what matters. So anyways, this was the kind of decade of me like coming of age, so to speak. So I think that's really cool. And like looking forward to the next decade, this is like the first decade that I will be an adult for the entirety of the decade. Need more paper towel because I painted on that one, which is really crazy to me. I will be in my 30s at the end of this decade, which is just like a totally foreign concept. <laughs> um, I know my friends that like are around that age or about to turn 30 are like, what you say? Especially Bryce, because he turns 30 this year. So I think it's really cool that we both have like, um, Oh, I forgot to take the little plastic thing out. Boop. We both have birth dates that are multiples of five. So like he'll be 30 this year, I'll be 25 this year. 25! Um, I'm not really anticipating this to turn out like any type of way, so. Why is this one portion of the canvas like not wanting to be painted? So anyways, I think that the 2020s are gonna be like the year um, a lot of my dreams get set in motion especially like with creating and stuff the purple is like a lot darker than the pink is there are different pa paints kind of I might end up having to do another layer of pink I know y'all can't see this because I'm not doing like a second view because I didn't want to like steal Bryce's camera or his phone for that one. Yeah, we're gonna do like a second layer, I think. I think this is like part of the problem of why I'm not like the world's most excellent painter. I get bored and then I like start half assing things. I get impatient. That's a better word for what I do. Let me show you what I got so far. Mm, I kind of like it. Maybe I don't need a second layer. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to mess it up. do a tiny bit more and I'm gonna do it with the bigger brush that I have here okay yes I like that idea just a little bit Boop. bigger brush bigger brush 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 big brush so should I use the bigger brush for the next section is the question I don't know 
Oh yeah, that's the other thing that started this decade is my YouTube channel. And I finally like embraced the fact that I wanted to be a YouTuber because I knew for a really long time, like probably since um, 2007 when I really started using YouTube. Um, but my mom was scared of me getting human traffic so she wouldn't let me post any videos. <laughs> And I remember the other day she was like, why didn't you do that? Because we were talking about like these like little kids that have like toy review channels that the color of the water is really pretty. Look at that. Um, that are making millions. She's like, why didn't you do that? And I was like, oh, you didn't let me. Um, but I think it's something that I wanted to do for a long time. So I'm really glad that I have a channel now. Okay, what color should we do next? Orange. I need to do orange kind of light because I'm running out of space. And, well, do I even want orange? I think I can go yellow, green, and get away with it. Okay. Yeah, yellow. We'll do yellow next. Yellow is Mama Summer's favorite color. Shout out to Mama Summer. Dang it, I tried to do it without taking the little plastic thing off again. Pardon the thunder if you hear any of that. Um, we're having a little bit of a storm today. It was funny because earlier it was like a tornado warning and they were like tornado sirens going off and I was being irresponsible because I wanted, I wanted to craft and make this video. So you just ignored them. Sorry, mom. I just want to craft. Bryce kept asking me like, I don't know, what do you want to do? And I was like, I want to craft. I'm going to let you be the responsible adult and decide if we're going to go find somewhere to take shelter. Because the other thing too is like we live, we live on the third floor. So like even if there was a tornado, like we would have to find somewhere else to go. Oh, I'm getting this all over the table. Doing my best. Doing my best. We do have a plan though if there's ever like a serious threat of tornado. Not that like a tornado warning isn't a serious threat of tornado, but you know, our plan is to go to the clubhouse because the third floor is not the place to be. Um, because we live right by the clubhouse, so we could probably escape to there quickly. <sighs> There's our yellow. I feel like the fade from pink to purple is like the least like good, but I don't know. I don't know what to do about it. So we're just going to leave it. And then last but not least, we're going to do some green. Oh wait. <laughs> I did it every single time. This is the last color that I'm putting on this canvas. That means that I've officially made that mistake every single time. It's fine. Is that a Bryce? Huh? Is that a Bryce? Come look at my craft. Yeah. You can't you can't see you in the camera. I can see it just fine. No, I'm saying you're not seeing on the camera. Oh. Mama Summer said you don't have to call her back. I wasn't planning on it. Oh. <laughs> I like what you're doing. It looks pretty. Thank you. Anyways. So, I'd say 2019 was a pretty good year. Um, I really learned a lot about myself this year. Um, I did a lot of creating, which makes me really happy. Um, and I know that I'm going to continue to pursue creating things because it makes me happy. Um, this decade I graduated college and I started my first job out of college. Um, and I actually left that job to move to a new city that I've never lived in before. Um, and I got to experience like really being on my own. Um, and it's been an exciting year. So now we're just looking forward to 2020 and, and looking forward to all the things that I can do um, to continue to grow my channel and, and grow as a person. Um, I think I'm going to mess with the pink a little bit more. <laughs> Here is the semi-finished product. 
Um, my plan is to let this dry and then I'm going to glue some pictures onto this and make it my vision board for 2020. So, yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know if this is going to be the end of this video or if I'm going to vlog it tomorrow after I really let this dry. Um, but leave a comment and tell me, um, tell me your favorite memory from this past decade down in the comments below. And we're back. So I'm just going to finish up. This was, I think I showed you this in the other video, but also I washed my hair today so you get a good look at the new do. It wasn't at all what I wanted, but this is what we got. So, and this is the finish just in case I didn't show you in the last video. So essentially what I'm going to do is I have all these little pictures um cut out that each represent something that i'm trying to manifest in 2020 and we're going to glue them to our cute little tie-dye board that i made um and while i do that i'm going to talk about my goals for 2020. okay um <laughs> so i'm just going to kind of like Get them all out, try to figure out where I want to put them, and then we're going to talk about them. Um, I cut these, I printed these out and cut them out the other day. Ooh, I have a lot in here. All of these images, except for one of them, I think, came from just random places on Pinterest. So don't sue me. <laughs> Nice little 2020. I'm gonna kind of cut this. There we go. That's definitely going to the top. That's going right there. Okay, I think I kind of like this little layout that I got going on here. Um, I'd show you, but my you're on a stand right now, and it's a very delicate situation. Also, I don't know if I like this angle. I think I like that better. Okay. All right, so let's get started. First things first, I need to open my glue. So, as I mentioned, my hair was not at all what I asked for. Um, but, I mean, it worked out. I, I don't hate it. Um, but that, as I kind of mentioned in my last post, has kind of just been how 2020 has been going so far. I need to be a little bit lighter with that. Like, things just keep not going as expected and very delicately yeah i think i put a little bit too much no glue on that luckily the paper towels are still here from yesterday so anyways i'm feeling oh there's two more images that i didn't find a home for i already knew that top one was gonna be there though so okay perfect okay we are on board. So some of these you will have seen in my, um, I need something to drink. I'll be right back. All right. Don't roast me for this. I have a plastic water bottle, but I've been reusing and refilling it because I was in a situation and I needed a water bottle. So I got this and I've been reusing it. So this is like tap water for my house that we just filtered through the Brita filter. I'm not being mean to the planet. Okay. Just a disclaimer there. Okay. So some of these things are things that you would have seen in my 2019 resolutions. Um, and some of them are just a couple other things that like I was already planning to do or that are just important to me. So first things first, this image. And I made sure to keep the little artist signature down at the bottom. Um, and it's just a really like it's supposed to be like the tree of life, but I don't want that know what that means. So I'm not endorsing it if it's some sort of like religious thing. I just thought this was a really pretty image that reflected my theme for this year, which is growth. So that's why I have that. Um, and I'm gonna kind of put that in the center under where I have like the little year lined out. And we're just trucking right along here. I already have glue on myself. 
Okay. So, my in focus. Bryce said I should make this go lighter. Let's see. Oh, God. That's too much. There. I think that's a little bit better. Okay. So, this image is Big Bend. Um, and we're, this is one of the places Bryce and I are planning on traveling, traveling this year. Um, it, we're planning on going to this for our anniversary trip. So I have that on here to keep in mind. I'm just going to glue that on there. So obviously this falls under the travel portion of my new year's resolutions. I'm also like not very good at like gluing things on straight, so I don't really have high high hopes for that. But we're just gonna keep on trucking. Okay. So this, I can't remember whose Instagram I got this off off of, so I'll put it up on the screen. But essentially, this is to kind of um, this is a girl I follow on Instagram who does yoga. And it's to kind of represent, like, my desire to heal my relationship with music this year. Um, or music. <laughs> movement this year. Heal my relationship with movement. Uh, and it's always just really inspiring for me to see plus-size folks doing, like, cool yoga poses. Because um, it give, it inspires me to get moving my body without having to center it around trying to change the way that my body looks so she has made the vision board nope this um i had a really hard time finding an image that i felt like sorry i'm covering my face so that it focuses um that really like represented my vlogging goals um obviously if you've read my post you know it's my goal to get to a thousand subscribers so that i can start monetizing this um so this is to kind of represent that i don't film with an actual camera though i just film with my phone camera um and that seems to be working out for me i don't plan on getting a camera for a while Anyway, so that is to represent that goal, to just keep on vlogging and um, working towards that goal. Do, 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 do. Okay. So, I have no idea where this picture is, but I just thought it was pretty. Um, and I think I actually got this one off of Google, maybe. I don't know. But it's just a picture of a sunrise to represent my desire to wake up earlier um, and my reasoning for doing that is I feel like I have a more productive day whenever I take some time for myself in the mornings. So that is that. Also, fair warning, um, we ordered Postmates, so my Postmate might arrive in the middle of filming this. So that is that. The glue is also like whenever it gets outside of the box, it... Um, it's like taking off the paint a little bit, which is weird. Okay, this one is, um, one that's not on the 2019 resolutions list, but I just want to be kinder to the planet. Um, focus. Focus. I have no idea who this, whose image this is. I just got it off of Pinterest. Um, but... Um, our planet is dying and Australia is on fire and I'm really concerned about that not just because like Australian people but koalas are my second favorite animal and if they go extinct like what's the point of living anymore so <laughs> I'm just kidding um, kind of um, but um, I feel like there's little things that I can do to just be a more conscientious consumer that'll help the planet um, as best as I can. So for example, like, um, and this kind of ties into another one of my goals, I like spending less goals, um, is to get secondhand clothing instead of shopping from fast, fa fast fashion sites like, um, Torrid. 
which I really love Torrid and I really love their clothes, but I know that they're probably not the most sustainable brand. So, um, kind of moving away from purchasing a lot directly from them and trying to buy Torrid clothes from secondhand shops like Poshmark or ThreadUp, which I haven't really been that impressed with ThreadUp's selection, um, but I've been pretty pleasantly surprised by Poshmark's. And I also have a Poshmark, so if you're looking for clothes, um, go check that out. I'll link it down below. Um, so I'm going to kind of do three images at once and kind of explain what they mean to me. So and then I'm going to have to figure out where they went on here. So this is to represent the spirituality um, goal this year to kind of reconnect with my spirituality. Um, I'm first and foremost a Christian, but I do also believe in astrology and like the power of meditation. So that's why I have these images as well. Um, and if you're interested in hearing more about that, let me know, but I'm not going to go into too much detail because everyone sort of believes their own thing. Um, and I'm not here to debate that. I'm just here to say that, that spirituality is important to me. Um, and I want to spend more time doing that and spending more time with God this year. So, yeah. Also, I just really, really liked this picture because I feel like it shows worship. I don't know. I just like the feeling that I can see on her face is the feeling that I feel whenever I'm worshiping. So I really liked that about it. Cut off that one edge. Okay. Let's get her on here. Also, in the last video, I had my new mic set up um, that y'all saw in my Vlogmas video. And then I realized that so I had plugged it in and tested it and then I unplugged it um, to hear the video, to hear the test video. And then I, um, and then I forgot to plug it back in um, when I started filming. So I don't know if the sound like magically just gets different for y'all. I don't know. But, oh well. We're learning. We're progressing. We're growing. It's all good. 2020, baby year of growth oh I didn't even show you this image might be this is to represent my goal for saving more money my goal is to save 20% of my income this year and I have yet to receive a paycheck this year so I cannot report how that um, goal is going but my bank account feels very empty because the payday was early because of the holiday and then um I don't get paid again until Wednesday anyway I don't know when you're seeing this but anyways that's my life right now um <laughs> but we'll get there I really like how this is turning out okay this is another travel goal for this year this is a picture of a beach that came up when I searched South Carolina. So Bryce and I are planning on traveling to South Carolina over the summer to visit our friend Andy, who recently moved there. Um, we're very upset about him moving there. He's gotten quite the earful. Um, but I think that'll be really exciting. We're planning on taking a plane and Bryce has never ridden in a plane before. So that will be exciting. And apparently there is a lot of fun stuff to do out there in South Carolina. Yeah, these are not straight at all. Oh well. Okay, and so this one, we are, it was one that was not in my New Year's resolutions, but that's going on the board is we are planning on getting a dog. So I found this because I thought it was funny. Um, beware of dog. He is sarcastic. I don't know if you can see it. I'm trying. There we go. Beware of the dog. He is sarcastic. <laughs> so um, I don't really know what kind of dog because we are going to go the rescue route and it's really just going to depend on like 
who ends up being a good fit, you know? Personality, I think, is going to be a big deal for us. Do, 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 do. So, yeah, but I think we're going to wait till after we move. Which, by the way, we are moving out of this apartment, but we don't know when or where. Well, we kind of know when because um, we have to put in our 60-day notice tomorrow, and then it'll be 60 days after that. But, um, but we don't know where we'll be going after that. So, I don't know. We'll keep y'all updated. Anyways, this... It's just a cool picture of some books um, because one of my goals for 2019 is to read at least one book every month. Right now I'm trying to read three books before March 3rd because I could win a gift card from Amazon if I do that. So um, I'm going to try to do that but that will keep me on track for my at least one, one book a month goal. Oh, and I didn't even realize, realize I did this, but I did my wake up earlier and my get more sleep on like either sides directly from each other. That's kind of cool. Bloop, bloop, bloop. This is my, I thought this was really beautiful. It was like a night sky scene. Um, I don't know who painted this. I just found it on Pinterest, but, um, I thought it was really beautiful. Yeah. Okay, hold on, my Postmates here. And back! Um, my lighting died because I accidentally left it on while I went to go eat chicken. So we have my lamp going. So there's probably a lighting change. It probably looks a little bit different, but we're almost done here. So we're just going to work with what we got. So to finish up, like I mentioned, this is um, to represent getting more sleep this year. I'm going to go ahead and glue that puppy on. All right. And last but not, oh wait, not, not last but not least. We still have two more. Okay. So this one is to represent the blogging because I spend a lot of time at my laptop typing stuff. Um, I had really trouble finding a picture to represent that one as well as the vlogging one. But I think this one does it justice. And then last but not least, I have this picture. Unfortunately, I can't tell you what this picture means yet. Um, if you're a friend or a family member, you already know what this picture represents, but I'm not ready to say it on my channel yet. But you will know in due time. But it is going on the vision board. Last one. Having a good time. And that is our vision board. Our vision board. 2020. I'm gonna some thumbnails. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I can't see, I can't wait to see what kind of content we come out with in the new year. So thanks. If you enjoyed this, leave a comment down below and like and subscribe.